What's going on guys? This is Kevin here from Fast Forward Always. I am back with another video. So a couple weeks back, American Golden Boy designer John No Elliott. Uh, recently had a sample sale in Los Angeles. It was in Culver City. Prices were absolutely ridiculous. Check out the John Elliott subreddit for my post. Um, just off the top of my head, here were the prices. Denim, um, it was 100 bucks per denim. Um, it was, I believe, $60 per pants slash joggers, such as um, the Kiko jogger or the Escobar pants. Uh, for t-shirts, I believe it was $30. Accessories, bags, hats, all that stuff, I believe was under 30, if I remember correctly. Shoes, which was extremely surprising, were 60 bucks. Outerwear was 150. Um, leather accessories and stuff varied. Um, like leather jackets varied, but everything was pretty much a fucking steal. Uh, sweaters were like 40 or 50 bucks and I caught so much shit. I did let go some of the items. I did proxy like three shirts for a friend. Uh, but that's about it. The rest I basically kept. Um, sadly, there are some items that I am going to be letting go. Um, I will let you guys know which items they are. Uh, primarily because one, they just don't fit and like, just like something didn't work out with them for me personally. Um, so like, I don't want this to be like a for sale thing, but some of the items will be for sale. Uh, DM me on Instagram if you see any items that you are interested in and then that I said that are gonna be on sale, but. Let's get into the pick So first off, uh, also I'll be doing an on body at the end with just like a mixture of all the different types of stuff. Uh, first off, let's go into outerwear. It is this season nine Bomber, I don't know what exactly it is, but it just feels like amazing. Um, I believe this jacket is made of, here it is. Um, the lining is 100% cupro, uh, the ribbing is 100% cotton, and I believe the outside is 71% cotton and 29% linen, made in the US, and it's just amazing. It's this nice, like almost, dark coffee color and it just works so well. Season nine was just like an amazing season. It just had a lot of like dark colors and I just think it looks fucking bomb. The re-re zips on everywhere just feel nice and getting it for 150 bucks is an absolute steal. This is definitely, I'm gonna be keeping this. It is like, it's already like a staple in my wardrobe. There are like some little like small like details and small little uh, things that make it like a sample. Like there's like small little rip here and there really isn't like terribly anything wrong with it, but this is probably honestly one of my favorite pickups of the sample sale. I went to day one and I was one of the first, I think first hundred people in, but they just kept on restocking and it was like crazy. It was a three day sale. Wow. Second up is this almost coat like jacket from season nine again. It's it's a little bit long on me, but I kind of like that. It kind of looked like an urban like lab coat in a way. The re-re zip is nice. My only critique on this specific, or not this specific, but like this jacket in general is that one, the sleeves are kind of weird. Um, they just don't look terribly nice. I just wish it was a little bit, I don't know, like a little bit more tailored. And two, I just wish this had a little bit more, I guess, padding on the inside because it is a fairly thin jacket and I'm not sure how much it retail for, but for 150, I think this is a fair deal, but for retail, I'm not sure if I would have even considered this because it is a fairly thin jacket. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's go on to bottoms. And here, obviously, this is still for, for sale. It is from season nine again. Season nine, it is the reverse weave denim, I believe. Reverse weave distressed denim. Sadly, this doesn't fit me. I have been losing weight recently and I got a size 34 thinking that I can still like kind of fit like a 33, 34 area. Um, this is too big. This is just way too big. Um, 
I could have the waist taken in like an inch or two, but still it just wouldn't like fit proportionally right. I could have like the waist taken in and I could have it like tapered from the knee down, but um, this is going to be for sale. And again, I paid a hundred bucks plus California tax and stuff like that. And it's going to be around like a hundred. 110 bucks or something so like let me know if you are interested and if you're a size 34 this fits extremely nicely i would have kept it if it was a size 30 to a 32. Um, really sad and disappointed i have to let this go but i'd rather have somebody who could actually wear it properly have it um, i could give this to you for a steal uh, definitely not under what i paid for but pretty close to whatever i paid for i can give it to you um, and yeah second off is a cast one all of denim. Uh, I believe this is also a no, like this is a 31, but this fits weird around my ass. It's a little bit too tight. Those squats coming in clutch. But not clutch enough to where I can fit a 34, and the 31 is just a little bit too tight for me. I believe this is an olive raw denim. Um, very, very nice color. It's not like a like oversaturated olive. It's a very nice washed olive. So if you guys are looking for this, I believe this retail for like $225. I can give it to you for basically what I paid for. So definitely just let me know. So I have a few tees that I also have for sale. I might keep or I might end up keeping two of these, but they are all three of them are from season nine. Uh, two of them are the same shirt, just different sizes. So this one is the indigo dive tee. I believe it retailed for like a hundred plus and it's an extremely nice t-shirt. It's a very thick t-shirt, not like um, I guess the Mercer tees or anything like that. Those are relatively thin. These are pretty damn thick and heavy duty. Uh, this fits more traditionally than the John Elliott tees. John Elliott normally runs a little bit slim and long. Uh, this fits just like a normal t-shirt. Uh, the indigo dyeing is really cool and same with the embroidering that they have both on the front bottom of it and on the back of the t-shirt. So I have it in a white, in a medium and a large. And I also have the black version of it in, I believe I got it in a medium, yeah, in a medium. Except this one, I think it's just going to be like bleach instead of indigo dye. Still gives off the same effect. So let me know if you guys are interested in those. I completely forgot about uh, these sweatpants. So I got the Kiko sweatpants, which is supposed to like fucking stack like a motherfucker. Um, it's supposed to just bunch up on the bottom area of your knee. Um, if I could, I would have gotten a small, but I was a little bit afraid whether or not the small or medium would fit since the sample sale didn't really have fitting rooms. People were honestly just like fucking stripping in like, the main lobby and I was just like, oh, no sé. So I got this in a Heather Gray, the Kiko. Oh, this is fucking long. Yeah, the Kiko sweats. Really like it. It's a very interesting fit. It just bunches up. Yeah. Eh. And next I got the Escobar in a sage green. It looks like a green tea green almost. Um, here it is. It's just, you know, the plain Escobar bottoms. Really like them. Um, there is like a minor flaw, I believe. Yeah, it's like right here on the bottom cuff. It does have a little tear, like where the stitching came a little bit undone, but that's about it. There isn't anything like terribly wrong with it. It still fits all right. Um, and it doesn't look like it's gonna come apart anytime soon. So definitely, definitely nice fit. I believe I got a medium on both of these. Let me check. Well then, uh, this one doesn't have a tag, so uh, uh. Now to go on to the sweatshirts and the sweaters that I got. So this is, I believe from their main line. Yeah, from their main line, given that it doesn't have a season. So this is a burgundy cape or cape uh, mock sweater slash hoodie. This is extremely nice. I bought this oversized. I bought it, I believe an XL or a double XL, just so it could be like pretty damn baggy. I like the fit of it really baggy, but I also bought one in a medium, I believe, that fits a little bit more form fitting. I like both of them. Uh, this burgundy color is like amazing for the fall. Uh, I definitely suggest you guys go in store to try this out. Cause like 
just the sweat material itself is like amazing and on grill they do have these for relatively cheap if you guys are looking to pick these up it's just the neck i like how it kind of props up a little bit but it's also not like i guess like it's not super stiff so like it's stiff enough and i got one from i believe season nine as well they had a lot of season nine stuff maybe because it was just um most recent this is I don't know what type of, it's it's almost like an egg white, but instead of like a slight yellow tint, it's like a slight blue tint. It's it's not like a neutral neutral green, it almost looks like a lighter slate color, but I definitely do like it. It's not white so that you don't have to get super worried about getting dirty, but it's like dark enough. I do like it a lot. You can definitely match a lot of uh, fits with this. You can wear blue with it, you can wear black with it. That's why I really do like this color. Nice one, Kevin. And this last piece is from season seven. I believe it was running through Vietnam. It is just this basic olive, um, washed out olive crew neck. And what I really like is the color. Like just the color seems so natural and the fabric is just extremely nice. I love it. It's. It's definitely one of my favorite pieces. It is thinner than the Kate Mockneck uh, hoodies, but this is just like a basic, just looks fucking awesome. I love, I love season nine and I love season seven. Season eight was okay, but just, that's my personal opinion. But yeah, definitely, definitely nice fit on this. Liking it a lot. And let me go get the shoes. So I did pair it. Oh, nice one, Kevin. So I did pick up two pairs of their low top shoes. I got their low top shoe in a Nubuck gray. Extremely nice shoe. The Nubuck is extremely premium. What I really liked about it, and a lot of people don't talk about it, is that their insole is like extremely soft. Like, without this insole, the shoe would be like so fucking uncomfortable since it's like, yeah. Like, it would be so uncomfortable without this insole. God bless whoever decided, hey, let's put a decent insole in these shoes. Cough, cough, uh, major sports or a brand. Uh. So this is a little bit more chunkier, uh, thicker version of Common Projects. That's the easiest way I would put it. Um, it's just that it's a little bit more mm, proportional, because you know how Common Projects, it, like really really narrows down and that's like the appeal of it. It just looks really slim uh, John Elliott took a more classic approach. It's a nice sturdy sole um, Good materials. I'm a little bit worried that this new book is gonna get worried, but or not worried um, It's gonna get damaged, but you know, it's a shoe at the end of the day um, I honestly wear the new book pair a little bit more than my other pair so I picked up the new book pair and I also picked up a pink leather pair. I actually might let go of the pink leather pair for basically whatever I paid for. Um, DM me on Instagram. I think I've only worn this uh, three times in total, if even. Um, yeah, like everything's still pretty clean. Just the bottoms are just from like one or two wears. It's a little bit dirty, nothing too bad. Um, it's just that I already have like light blue common projects and I feel like I don't need another light pastel minimal sneaker. So if anybody wants this, it is a US 42. Um, I suggest if you are in between sizes, go down half a size. So yeah, that was basically all my pickups. Um, I am missing three tees because I sent it over to my friend because uh, he just wanted some basic John Elliott tees and he didn't have any and I was like, let me hook your boy up. <sighs> so yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I will be doing an on body right now with a few of the pieces and I'll be in the comment section. I always reply to comments. If you guys have any questions on, I guess, any of the items that I have here, if you want to purchase any of the items that I said were for sale, DM me on Instagram at kevin.img. Otherwise, you can check out my grill down below. Hit that motherfucking like button. And uh, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.